Balloons are a kind of airmail. The sight of one floating in the air sends a message that you're special. But balloons weren't always so delightful. In earlier days, they were made of dried animal bladders, a bit of an unpleasant concept. In the 19th century, someone invented a rubber balloon, and that trial balloon took off. They started mass producing balloons in the 1930s, and after that, the sky was the limit. To make balloons, they pour dye into a tank of latex. They filter it through cheesecloth to remove any lumps. Agitators at the bottom of the tank mix it up for 15 or 16 hours. This distributes the color, and it also keeps the latex active so it doesn't congeal. Balloons come in 53 different shades. Nozzles spray hot water onto balloon forms to clean them as they move on a system of rollers. A fixture then flips and dips the forms into a tank of coagulant that carries an electrochemical charge which will attract the colored latex. On top of this fixture are balloon forms freshly dipped in blue latex, while below, a tank full of latex rises, coating more forms on the underside. The job done, the fixture flips back, moving the balloon forms to an upright position, while below, another tray of balloon forms takes the plunge. The latex dries quickly as a conveyor moves the balloon forms forward towards spiraling brushes. The brushes roll up the bottoms of the balloons, creating lips. The lips will make it possible for people to grip the balloons in order to inflate them. The fixture flips again and the balloons nose dive into a hot water bath. They soak for up to 16 minutes. This step is critical. It leaches out all the impurities, including a protein that causes latex allergies. The hot bath also triggers vulcanization or rubberizes the latex. The balloons travel to another station. Here, the fixture dips them in a mix of talcum powder and water. This will allow them to be more easily stripped off the form. And now it's time for the forms to shed their latex skins. As the forms pass through this station, air jets inflate the balloons. Rollers at the top grab the balloons as they fill with air and pull them away from the forms. The rollers shoot the balloons upwards and they topple onto a conveyor belt. Next, a worker piles the balloons into an industrial washing machine and adds a cleaning solution. The machine heats to a steamy 71 degrees Celsius while the balloons tumble and nozzles spray water into it. This doesn't just clean the balloons, it completes the vulcanization of the latex. Now it's time to see if they can stand the test of inflation. A machine blows air into a huge heart-shaped balloon, and the heart swells but doesn't break. She holds it against a light to check for imperfections like blisters. Now it's time to stretch your imagination by making interesting shapes with the finished product.